Ah, oh, grapes. This vineyard brings me much happiness. Oh, hello there. My name is Sebastian Eugene Bartholomew. I'm so happy that you are also wandering in the orchard today. I've been pondering some deep thoughts that I might need some additional IQ to get to the bottom of, but if you do not see my mouth move behind my mustache, am I really talking? Really, think about that one. Think hard about it. In fact, my thought process has led me to the point where, where I realize that I don't see my own mouth move, so I must have telepathy. <laughs> well, anyway, I was also in the orchard for another reason, to bring phytopoetry to these vines. And now I shall bring it to you. Are you ready? Which page, which page? Oh, this one will do. What grows on a vine and is purple or green, forms in clusters but is trellised like beans? What is this fruit that is prized for its taste? If you can't guess, I'm referring to grapes. There are many grape growers producing for wine, but crushing this fruit for ferment is crime. Real connoisseurs understand that fine vines are best used to make the raisin divine. The little dried fruit enlivens the heart. Mix it with flakes to make a great start. Combine this way with milk in a bowl. Just give me a spoon so I won't lose control. Raisins are good for my digestive tract. A raisin-filled system won't get out of whack. Raisins help me achieve my dream of becoming quarterback of the JV team. Raisins lead to tumultuous lives, and danger lurks among the vines. Downy mildew and black rot, leaf hoppers and mites, all keep raisin lovers from sleeping at nights. With proper pruning, vines can persevere, and pest vigilance diminishes fear. Scouting the rose will alert you to crummies, preserving more raisins for my discerning tummy. <laughs> my, 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 my. Oh, that poem was almost as sweet as a fine raisin. I call that one, stop whining and eat raisins. Get it? Wine? Whining? For real, behind this mustache, I do extension work. Extension brings information to the people who need it. So, if you need pest management information for your vineyard or for raising grapes and home gardens, Extension has resources for you. Just check in the description for links. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.